Cutting the bevel and radius edge, 1 quarter inch and 3 16 inch. The beveled edge is flat. It looks like this in your drawing. It measures 1 quarter inch from the face and the edge. We'll look at the drawings to do that. This is on the side of the board that has the 1 inch radius. Let's look at our board. There's two radii. There's the smaller and the bigger. When I look at my drawings, I see that the smaller one is 3 fourths of an inch and the bigger one is 1 inch. I'm going to go ahead and mark those now. On both the left and the right of the board, measure 1 quarter inch from the corner on the face and the edge. That's a total of four marks. Connect each pair of marks using a straight edge. So we want to measure from this corner right here a quarter inch this way on both sides. Okay, so we're going to measure down a quarter of an inch from this edge and down a quarter of an inch from this edge. This time I'm going to use my combination square to make those measurements. I'm going to put that right up against the edge. Notice I have my combination square set so that it's right at the edge of an inch mark. And then I can look down at this and I can make a measure at a quarter of an inch. We'll put a circle around that. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And a quarter of an inch. And then I'll use the straight edge to connect those two. Okay, some of you are going to try to shortcut and you'll just make one mark and what ends up happening is this edge of the ruler goes on the mark and this edge goes who knows where you'll end up with a crooked line like that. Put a mark on both edges. Okay, the same thing here on the edge of the board. Make mark at a quarter of an inch here and a quarter of an inch here and connect those two lines. Okay, so now you can see from the corner I have the two lines and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that to make a beveled edge right there. And I'll use my block plane to do that. Put that into the bench vise, tighten that down, come over here and get my block plane. I've already set this up to be just the right depth. You may want to practice on a piece of scrap wood before you do this. And I'm going to take my block plane, I'm going to set it right at 45 degrees, and take some slow, even passes moving just in a forward direction. As I'm doing this, I'm keeping a close eye on my lines. I notice that it's closer to the line here than it is here. And it's also closer to this edge than this edge, which means I need to rotate my block plane this way some and also rotate it back just a little bit so that I can get those lines. Okay, and every so often I'm going to check my lines. I still need to rotate down so I can feel that it's right there. Rotate down. Okay, it needs to rotate down a lot. This time I'm looking right inside here. right on the line here, almost here, almost there. Now I'm just going to go one pass at a time. Last pass. Okay. You can see how I just left half of the line right here. It's a tiny bit off there, but we're going to leave it just like that. Okay, this is my beveled edge, and it's on the one inch radius. Now I need to do the radius edge. This is a radius end. This will be my radius edge. Okay. When we read the directions, number 14, 
the radius to edge is round. It will look like this. It measures 3 16 of an inch from the face and edge. See the drawings. This is on the side of the board that has the 3 quarter inch radius. On both the left and the right side of the board, measure 3 six, 3 16 of an inch from the corner on the face and from the corner on the edge. That's a total of four marks. Connect each pair of marks using a straight edge. So once more, I'm going to use my combination square. We're going to measure down 1, 2, 3 sixteenths. And again, 1, 2, 3 sixteenths. On the face of the board, And we'll do the same thing on the edge of the board. Okay, so now I have a total of two lines. One here and one here. And this time we're going to make a radius, or a round corner. And again, we'll use our block plane to do this. Step 15 says clamp the board in a vise and use the block plane to cut a radius on this edge. Start with a cut at 45 degrees, like we did here. Then work to one side and the other to make a smooth rounded edge. Do not use sandpaper to finish this. Okay, in the real world you'd use sandpaper to finish this, but I want to see what you can do with a hand plane first. So we'll put this into our bench vise, lock it in gently, take our hand plane which has been set up, and our first couple of cuts will be at a 45 degree angle. And it kind of helps to sketch a little round right there so I can see where my shape should be. And I'm looking at my lines to make sure that the cut that I'm making is even with the lines on the edge and on the face. Once I get a start at a 45 degree angle, I'm going to make a cut flat towards the face, flat towards the edge, and then I'm just going to rotate my block plane around to make a nice round edge. Now I've already hit my line right here, so I'll stop on the face. I'm going to do one more cut here. And that's where I'll stop. I've already taken the line off there. Okay, so now we have a beveled edge and a radius edge.